Hello, and welcome to the 40th episode of Scripture in a Year, hosted by Saints Peter and Paul Orthodox Church in the Albanian Archdiocese of the OCA. Today's readings will be Deuteronomy chapters 1 through 4. Now these are the words Moses spoke to all Israel beyond the Jordan in the desert, in the plain opposite Suf, between Paran, Tophel, Laban, Hezeroth, and Dizahab. It is eleven days' journey from Horeb by way of Mount Seir to Kadesh Barnea. Now it came to pass in the fortieth year, in the eleventh month, on the first day of the month, Moses spoke to the sons of Israel according to all the Lord gave him as commandments to them, after he killed Sihon, king of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and Og, king of Bashan, who dwelt in Ashtaroth, and Edri. Beyond the Jordan, in the land of Moab, Moses began to explain this law, saying, The Lord our God spoke to us in Horeb, saying, You have dwelt long enough at this mountain. Turn and take your journey, and go to the mountain of the Amorites, to all the neighboring places in the Arabah, in the mountains and in the plain, to the south and on the sea coast, to the land of the Canaanites, and to Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. Behold, I am delivering the land in your presence. Go in and inherit the land I swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give it to them and to their seed after them. So I spoke to you at that time, saying, I alone am not able to bear you. The Lord your God multiplied you, and here you are today as the stars of heaven in multitude. May the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times more numerous than you are, and bless you, just as he said. How can I alone bear your labors, your burdens, and your lawsuits? Choose wise, understanding, and knowledgeable men from among your tribes, and I will make them leaders over you. And you answered me and said, The thing you told us to do is good. So I took from you wise, understanding, and knowledgeable men and made them leaders over you, leaders of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens, judges to interpret the law for you. Then I commanded your judges at that time, saying, Hear the cases between your brethren, and judge righteously between a man and his brother, or the resident alien with him. You shall not show partiality in judgment. You shall judge the small and the great. You shall not shrink before any man's presence, for the judgment is God's. The case too hard for you, bring to me, and I will hear it. So I commanded you at that time all the words you should do. So we departed from Horeb and went through all that great and fearful desert you saw on the way to the mountain of the Amorite, as the Lord our God commanded us. Then we came to Kadesh Barnea. Then I said to you, You have come to the mountain of the Amorite, which the Lord our God is giving us. Behold, the Lord your God is delivering the land to you in your presence. Go up and take it as an inheritance. In the manner the Lord God of your father spoke to you. Do not fear or be afraid. Then every one of you came near me and said, Let us send men before us and let them spy out the land for us and report back to us the way we should go up in it and the cities into which we should come. The plan pleased me well, so I took twelve of your men, one man from each tribe, then they departed and went up into the mountain and came to the valley of Eshkol and surveyed it. They also took some of the fruit of the land in their hands and brought it down to us and said, The land the Lord our God gives us is good. Nevertheless, you would not go up, but disobeyed the word of the Lord your God. And you murmured in your tents and said, Because the Lord hates us, he brought us out of the land of Egypt to deliver us into the hands of the Amorites to destroy us. Where can we go up? Our brethren caused our heart to revolt, saying, The people are great and tall and stronger than we, and the cities are great and fortified up to heaven. Moreover, we saw the sons of giants there. Then I said to you, Do not be terrified or afraid of them. The Lord your God who goes before your face, he will fight them with you in all things, as he did for you in Egypt. And in this desert where you saw how the Lord your God carried you, as a man carries his son, and all the way you went until you came to this place. Yet in all this manner you did not believe the Lord your God, who went in the way before you to choose a place for you, leading you with the fire by night and the cloud by day, and showing you the road that you might travel it. 
So the Lord heard the sound of your words and was provoked to wrath and took an oath, saying, Not one of these men shall see this good land I swore to give their fathers, except Caleb, the son of Jephunneh. He will see it, and to him and his sons I give the land on which he walked, because he is attached to the things of the Lord. The Lord was also angry with me for your sake, saying, Even you shall not enter there. Joshua, the son of Nun, who stands before you, he will enter there. Encourage him, for he will cause Israel to inherit it. Thus every young child who today has no knowledge of good or evil, they will enter there. To them I will give it, and they will have it as an inheritance. But as for you, turn and camp in the desert road toward the Red Sea. Then you answered and said to me, We sinned before the Lord our God. We will go up and fight, just as the Lord our God commanded us. So when every one of you girded on his weapons of war and assembled together, you went up into the mountain. And the Lord said to me, Tell them, Do not go up or fight, for I am not with you, lest you be crushed before your enemies. So I spoke to you, yet you would not listen, but transgressed the word of the Lord, and presumptuously went up into the mountain. Then the Amorite who dwelt in that mountain came out against you, and chased you as bees do, and wounded you from Seir to Hormah. Then you sat down and wept before the Lord, but the Lord would not listen to your voice nor pay attention to you. So you encamped in Kadesh many days, according to the days you spent there. So we turned and journeyed on the desert road along the Red Sea, as the Lord spoke to me, and we encircled Mount Seir for many days. Then the Lord spoke to me, saying, Let your encircling of this mountain be sufficient. Therefore, turn northward. Also, command the people, saying, you are about to pass through the boundaries of your brethren, the sons of Esau, who live in Seir, and they will be afraid of you and will be in exceeding dread of you. Do not engage them in war, for I will not give you any of their land. No, not so much as one footstep, because I gave Mount Seir to the sons of Esau as an inheritance. You shall buy food from them with money that you may eat, and you shall also buy water by the measure from them with money that you may drink. For the Lord your God blessed you in all the work of your hands. Consider how you crossed that great and fearful desert. Behold, these forty years the Lord your God was with you, and you lacked nothing. Then we passed beyond our brethren, the sons of Esau, who dwell in Seir along the road of the Arabah, from Elath and Ezion Geber. And we turned and passed along the desert road toward Moab. Then the Lord said to me, do not be at enmity with Moab or wage war with them, for I will not give you any of their land as an inheritance, because I gave Ar to the sons of Lot to inherit. The Amim dwelt there in times past, a people as great and numerous and strong as the Anakim. They were also regarded as Raphaim, like the Anakim, but the Moabites called them Amim. The Horite formerly dwelt in Seir, but the sons of Esau rooted them out, and destroyed them from before their face, and dwelt in their place in the manner Israel did in the land of their inheritance, which the Lord gave them. Now rise, break camp, and cross over the valley of Zered. So we crossed over the valley of Zered. So the days we took to come from Kadesh Barnea, until we crossed over the valley of Zered, were thirty-eight years, until all the generation of the men of war died out of the camp, as the Lord swore to them. For the hand of the Lord was on them to destroy them out of the camp until they were consumed. So it was when all the men of war died from the midst of the people. Then the Lord spoke to me, saying, Today you shall pass by the borders of Moab at Seir, and you shall draw near the sons of Ammon. But do not be at enmity with them or wage war with them, for I will not give you any land of the sons of Ammon as an inheritance, because I gave it to the sons of Lot as an inheritance. Formerly it was also regarded as the land of the Raphaim, for the Raphaim dwelt upon it. But the Ammonites called them Zemzumim, a people great and numerous and stronger than you, just as the Anakim. But the Lord destroyed them before their face, and they dispossessed them, and dwelt in their place to this day, just as they did for the sons of Esau who dwelt in Seir when they destroyed the Horites from before their face. They dispossessed them, and dwelt in their place to this day. Also the Avim, who dwelt in villages as far as Gaza, 
the Cappadocians, who came from the Cappadocia, destroyed them and dwelt in their place. Now therefore, rise, break camp, and travel along the Arnon Valley. Behold, I give into your hand Sihon the Amorite, the king of Heshbon, and his land. Enter your inheritance and engage him in war. On this day, begin to put the dread and fear of you upon the face of all nations under heaven, who when they hear the report of you, they will tremble and be in anguish because of your presence. So I sent ambassadors from the Chemoth desert to Sihon, king of Heshbon, with words of peace, saying, Let me pass through your land. I will keep strictly to the road, and I will turn neither to the right nor to the left. You shall sell me food for money, so I may eat, and sell me water for money, so I may drink. Only let me pass through on foot, just as the sons of Esau, who dwelt in Seir, and the Moabites, who dwelt in Ar, did for me, until I crossed the Jordan, to the land the Lord our God is giving us. But Sihon, king of Heshbon, would not let us pass through, for the Lord our God hardened his spirit, and made his heart stubborn, that he might deliver him into your hands as on this day. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have begun to give Sihon and his land over to you. Begin to inherit his land. So Sihon and all his people came out to engage us in war at Jahaz. But the Lord our God delivered him over to us. So we defeated him, his sons, and all his people. We conquered all his cities at that time, and we utterly destroyed every city, one after the other, and we did not leave their women and children alive. We took only the cattle as plunder for ourselves, along with the spoil of the cities, from Aroer to the bank of the Arnon River, and from the city of the and from the city in the ravine, as far as the mountain of Gilead, there was not one city that escaped us. The Lord our God delivered them all into our hands. Only we did not go into the land of the sons of Ammon, anywhere along the Jabbok River, or to the cities of the mountains, as the Lord our God commanded us. Then we turned and went up the road to Bashan, and Og, king of Bashan, came out against us, he and all his people, to battle at Edri. And the Lord said to me, Do not fear him, for I delivered him and all his people and all his land into your hands. You shall do to him as you did to Sihon, king of the Amorites, who dwelt at Heshbon. So the Lord our God delivered Og, king of Bashan, unto our hands and all his people, and we struck him until none of his seed remained. Also at that time we conquered all his cities. There was not a city we did not take from them, sixty cities, all the region of Argob, the kingdom of Og in Bashan. All these cities were fortified with high walls, gates, and bars, besides a great many cities of the Perizzites. We utterly destroyed them as we did Sihon, king of Heshbon, utterly destroying every city, one after the other, and the women and children. But all the cattle and spoil of the cities we took as booty for ourselves. At that time we also took the land from the hands of the two kings of the Amorites beyond the Jordan, from the Arnon River to Mount Hermon, the Sidonians called Hermon Sirion, and the Amorite called it Sanir. All the cities of the plain, all Gilead, and all Bashan, as far as Salca and Edri, cities of the kingdom of Og and Bashan. For only Og king of Bashan remained of the Rephaim. Indeed, his bedstead was an iron bedstead, Behold, it is in the citadel of the sons of Ammon. Nine cubits is its length, and four cubits its width, measured by the forearm of a man. So we inherited this land at that time, from Aroer, by the Arnon River, and half the mountain of Gilead. And I gave his cities to Reuben and Gad. The rest of Gilead and all Bashan, the kingdom of Og, I gave to half the tribe of Manasseh. All the region of Argob, all that Bashan, will be reckoned as the land of the Rephaim. Jair, the son of Manasseh, took all the region of Argob, as far as the borders of the Geshurites and the Makathites, and called Bashan after his own name, Havath Jair, to this day. So I gave Gilead to Machir. Now to Reuben and Gad I gave from Gilead as far as the Arnon River, the middle of the river as the border, and as far as the Jabbok River, the border of the sons of Ammon, and the Arabah and the Jordan are the border stretching from Makanarath down to the Sea of the Arabah, 
the salt sea to Pisgah in the east. Then I commanded you at that time, saying, The Lord your God gave you this land as an inheritance. All you men of valor shall cross over armed before your brethren, the sons of Israel. But your wives, your children, and your cattle, I know you have much cattle, will stay in the cities I gave you until the Lord your God gives rest to your brethren as to you. And they also inherit the land the Lord our God is giving them beyond the Jordan. Then each may return to the inheritance I gave you. Then I commanded Joshua at that time, saying, Your eyes saw all the Lord our God did to these two kings. So will the Lord our God do to all the kingdoms through which you pass. You must not fear them, for the Lord our God himself fights for you. Then I pleaded with the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord, O Lord, you have begun to show your servant your strength and power and your mighty hand and outstretched arm. For what God is there in heaven or on earth who can do anything like your works and your mighty deeds? Let me cross over and see this good land, this good mountain, and enter Lebanon. But the Lord disregarded me on your account and would not listen to me. So the Lord said to me, Enough of that. Speak no more to me of this matter. Go up to the top of this stony mountain and lift your eyes toward the sea, the north wind, the south wind, and the sunrise. Behold it with your eyes, for you will not cross over the Jordan. But command Joshua, strengthen him, and encourage him, for he will go over before this people, and he will cause them to inherit the land you see. So he stayed in the valley opposite Beth Peor. Now, O Israel, listen to the ordinances and judgments I teach you today to observe, that you may live and become numerous and inherit the land that the Lord God of your fathers is giving you. You shall not add to the word I command you, nor take from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, all that I command you today. Your eyes saw all the things the Lord God did at Baal Peor, for the Lord your God destroyed from among you all the men who followed Baal of Peor. But you who held fast to the Lord your God are alive today, every one of you. Surely I taught you ordinances and judgments as the Lord commanded me, that you should act according to them in the land you go to inherit. Therefore be careful to observe them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the Gentiles, who will hear all these ordinances and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what great nation is there that has God so near to it, as the Lord our God is to us, for whatever reason we may call upon him? Also, what great nation is there that has such ordinances and righteous judgments as are in all this law I set before you today? Only take heed to yourself and diligently guard your soul, lest you forget all the things your eyes saw, and lest they depart from your heart all the days of your life. And you shall teach them to your sons and the sons of your sons, especially concerning the day you stood before the Lord your God in Horeb on the day of assembly when the Lord said to me, Gather the people to me and let them hear my words, so they may learn to fear me all the days they live on the earth and may teach their sons. Then you came near and stood at the foot of the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire to the midst of heaven with darkness, gloom, storm, and a great voice. The Lord spoke to you from the midst of the fire. You heard the sound of the words, but saw no form. You only heard a voice. So he declared to you his covenant, the Ten Commandments, which he commanded you to perform, and he wrote them on two tablets of stone. Then the Lord commanded me at that time to teach you ordinances and judgments, so you might observe them in the land you are crossing over to inherit. So be careful to guard your souls, for you saw no form when the Lord spoke to you at Horeb on the mountain from the midst of the fire. Do not act lawlessly and make for yourselves a carved form of any image, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any cattle of, on the earth, or the likeness of any winged bird that flies under heaven, the likeness of anything that creeps on the ground, or the likeness of any fish in the waters beneath the earth. Also do not act lawlessly when you lift your eyes to heaven and see the sun, the moon, and the stars, all the adornment of heaven. And you thus go astray and worship and serve them which the Lord your God assigned to all the nations under heaven. But the Lord took you and brought you out of the iron furnace from Egypt to be his people, an inheritance as you are this day. 
Furthermore, the Lord was angry with me about what you said and swore I would not cross over the Jordan and enter the land the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance. But I am going to die in this land. Thus I am not going to cross over this Jordan, but you will cross over and inherit this good land. Take heed to yourselves, lest you forget the covenant the Lord your God made with you, and to make for yourselves a carved form of anything concerning which the Lord your God forbade you. For the Lord your God is a consuming fire, a jealous God. If you beget sons and the sons of sons, and dwell a long time in the land, and act lawlessly, and make a carved form of anything, and do evil in the sight of the Lord your God to provoke him to anger, I call heaven and earth to witness to you today that you will be utterly destroyed from the land you are crossing over the Jordan to inherit. You will not live long on it, but will be utterly annihilated. Then the Lord will scatter you among all the nations, and you will be left few in number among all the nations where the Lord will bring you. There you will serve different gods, the works of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see, hear, eat, nor smell. But from there... You will seek the Lord your God, and you will find him when you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul in your tribulation. And all these words will find you at the end of days, when you turn to the Lord your God and obey his voice. For the Lord your God is a merciful God. He will not forsake you, nor annihilate you, nor forget the covenant of your fathers which he swore to them. For ask now concerning former days, before your day, in which God created man on the earth, and ask from one end of heaven to the other whether any great thing like this has happened, or anything like it has been heard. Did any people ever hear the voice of the living God speaking from the midst of the fire in the manner you have heard and lived? Or did God ever try to go and take for himself a nation from the midst of another nation, in testing signs, wonders, and war, and by a mighty hand and outstretched arm, and by a great visions according to all the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes. To you it was shown that you might know the Lord your God is God. There is none other besides him. Out of heaven he let you hear his voice, that he might instruct you, and on the earth he showed you his great fire, and you heard his words from the midst of the fire. Because he loved your fathers, therefore, he chose you their seed after them, And he brought you out of Egypt with his great strength, destroying from before your face nations greater and mightier than you, to bring you in, to give you their land as an inheritance, as you have it today. Therefore, know today and bear in mind, the Lord your God, this God, is in heaven above and on the earth beneath. There is no other besides him. You shall therefore guard his ordinances and his commandments, I command you today, that it may be well with you and with your sons after you, and may prolong your days in the land the Lord your God is giving you to guard all the time. Then Moses set apart three cities beyond the Jordan toward the rising of the sun. So the manslayer who kills his neighbor without foreknowledge, without hating him previously, might flee into one of these cities and live there. Bezer in the desert on the plateau for Reuben, Ramoth and Gilead for Gad, and Golan in Bashan, for Manasseh. Now this is the law Moses set before the sons of Israel. These are the testimonies, the ordinances, and the judgments Moses spoke to the sons of Israel in the desert after they came out of Egypt beyond the Jordan, in the valley near Beth Peor, in the land of Sion, king of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, whom Moses and the children of Israel defeated after they came out of Egypt. So they inherited his land in the land of Og, king of Bashan, two kings of the Amorites, beyond the Jordan, toward the rising of the sun. From Aor, which is on the bank of the Arnon River, even to Mount Sion, that is, Hermon, and all the Arabah, beyond the Jordan, toward the rising of the sun, below Asadoth, hewn in the rock. Here ends the reading for today.